Hey guys, welcome to the Boardwalk Print Show. Today is going to be a short little video on something that may um, come up in your shop uh, and just a good way of rectifying it fast and how you can avoid it in the future. So what I'm talking about is you may, when you're coating a screen, if you see this happening, and let's see if you can kind of see it, see how there's like the uh, bubbles on there? What that's from is that there's too much emulsion on here. Um, so when you're coating this screen, you really want to put the same pressure that you're using, uh, you know, when you're printing your first uh, image down on the screen. Um, we used to coat both sides of the screen twice. We then switched to uh, one, one pass on each side and that has seemed to work for us. It's just that in this case, um, too much motion was put down and we're gonna reclaim the screen and recode it. So here's the process. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the screens um, that need to be reclaimed and we're going to wash them out in the uh, washout booth. And then we'll put them into the dip tank for a little bit, come back to the washout booth um, and finish up getting all the emulsion off and then degreasing uh, the screens again, letting them dry and then we'll recoat. So let's get started. So we just um, put this brush into the pink stuff. Okay, so they were the steps to reclaiming the screens and we'll let them dry for a little bit. Um, we'll wait till they're really dry. We'll probably uh, come back tomorrow and uh, coat them and we'll show you that process as well. Also, as with all our videos, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Be sure to follow, ring the bell, and uh, we'll answer your questions. So today we're going to finish up where we left off um, earlier. 
um, with when we had the issue with the screen is having droplets forming on the back side. Uh, reason for that was that there was too much emulsion put down. So we cleaned the screens, they're ready to recoat. We've got our scoop coater. Um, the best practices for this uh, method is to always coat the inside um, or the side that's facing up to you as you're printing. Coat that first. We're gonna take uh, the thin edge of the scoop cutter. There's two edges on here. There's one that's more rounded, which will lay a heavier um, coat down and then a thinner edge. So we're going to take the heavy coat side of the um, scoop coater and come up, flip this around, the thin edge, come up, get off any excess. Then go to the back side and we'll do the same thing. Up with the uh, thicker side, thin edge, up and finish. When these screens dry, these screens want to be drying um, like they were in, like they're going into your press. So you want the flat side down and that's how they dry. That way, when they do dry, you'll have a nice thick coat of emulsion uh, right where you need it. All right, so let's get started. So the emulsion that we use is the Sati Textile PHU. Um, get light sensitive, so when we start to fill up the scoop coater, we have to turn this light out and we'll just be in the safety lights. Um, I just wanted to let you know that that's the brand that we use and we use that pretty much exclusively in this shop. Take the emulsion, pour it into the scoop coater. Get a good amount in there. Put the lid back on it. Okay, so we've got it. We've got the uh, inside of the screen, which we're going to coat first. We've got the heavy edge that we're going to put down. We're going to turn that around and go on with the short edge or the thin edge come up turn this around Thanks.